In this video I'm gonna be unboxing Boya BYMM1 micro shotgun microphone as well as generic smartphone rig by Newer. As a bonus content later on I'm gonna show you precisely on how you can make that cheap Boya BYMM1 microphone sound really good. If that's something that interests you, definitely stick to the end of this video. It's good for you. Hey what's going on you guys, this is Pete coming back with another awesome video and today I'm gonna be unboxing Boya BYMM1 micro shotgun microphone. Wow, that was a mouthful. <laughs> and we're also gonna be unboxing generic phone rig from Newer. So let's get into it. So guys, before we dive into this video, I just wanted to say thanks to my buddy Kartek uh, from Maverick Vlogs who actually gave me an awesome idea of getting this mic in the first place. I've watched one of his vlogs and he said something like, you know, if you wanted to get more views and stuff like this on YouTube, if you want to get like more attention and stuff from people, why don't you go outside? So I thought to myself, it's end of March, the weather is clearing up, it's actually pretty good outside here in UK and I thought to myself hey I should get a little microphone and go outside with, with my phone and 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 that uh, phone rig so sometimes I can do a little vlogs or whatever so I don't know uh, but it gave me this idea that hey I can I can do that maybe you know and and that'll be really cool so anyways guys uh, with that said, I wanted to say thanks again, Kartek. Uh, thanks a lot, buddy. And guys, if you wanted to check out Kartek's channel, uh, Maverick Vlogs, I'm gonna link it down below in the description. So go and check him out. He's got really awesome content. I promise you guys, you won't be disappointed. He'll be taking you on a tour to a really cool places. I've been watching his uh, Singapore vlogs and stuff. Really awesome stuff. And he's got some really cool ideas on how you can grow audience and stuff like this as a small YouTuber. Anyways, guys, enough talking let's get into the video so guys get this i've been sitting and doing my edits today for my uh, resident evil gameplays and then i heard knocking to the door so there we go here's the package uh, i'm gonna open that and we'll see what's inside so yeah i mean this is really cheap uh microphone guys but do not underestimate it i mean there is lots of these micro um shotgun microphones and stuff out there there is another alternative from road uh, but you know what i mean there is few reasons why i actually didn't pick up that one because first uh boya that microphone right here it's actually cheaper and it comes with another cable that you can use to shoot with your phone and i'm shooting with my google pixel phone and i don't have dslr camera so the cable that came originally with a uh, road microphone the alternative uh, wouldn't work so i would have to get additional cable that would cost me money um, so even more money uh, to be able to do the same that i can do with boya so this item basically comes with uh, two cables, one to your actual DSLR camera, one to your uh, phone. I'm gonna have to use it with a little adapter that came with my Pixel phone because my Pixel phone doesn't have a uh, 3.5mm jack anymore. It's one of those. So this uh, Boya mic comes also with a shock mount with this uh, little windscreen here with, I think it has two shock mounts. Those two cables and obviously microphone itself. And I don't think there's anything else, but let's crack the box open. Let's see what's there. Oh, cool specifications on the back. So we're gonna check it out. Compatible with smartphones, tablets, DSLR cameras, consumer camcorders, audio recorders, etc. Compact and lightweight uh, directional mic, uh, rugged metal construction, no battery re required. That's another really cool thing. Professional ferry windshield included. Specifications. Uh, guys, this is a polar cardioid microphone pattern. So the polar pattern card cardioid frequency response between 35 to 18 kilohertz. Um, minus 3 db sensitivity minus 42 db 76 spl okay plug a 3.5 millimeter trs and trrs connector and this is the trrs connector that we need for the smartphone dimensions 81 millimeters uh, net weight 86 grams okay let's check this out shall we so first item uh this is the actual mount for the microphone uh, so you mount it up here you can, um, you know, put that 
slide that in your camera or whatever uh, there's a little little uh, hole in there so you can screw that I suspect and stuff like this so that's pretty pretty cool next up we've got the cables so this is the TRS I'll show you guys so this is the TRS cable uh, that you would use for your DSLR cameras maybe or camcorders I'm not sure but this is the one for the camera itself for the DSLR so this one here however uh, that's the one to go to your smartphone you see those three pins there well that is the way that you put it inside the smartphone that is the way you attach it to your camera so that's what it is both cables um rather short i would say whoa 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 we were guys we got a really cool pouchy pouch uh, so that is a really cool thing so you can put everything together and this indeed is the microphone guys with the windshield on check it out really cool boya logo sticker type thing here so let's take out the mic from that windshield and i wanted to feel it from inside so it has a very i can feel inside uh, it has really really uh squishy type form uh, the same type of foam that you would put on top of your microphone and then outside it has this fluffy furry uh, type uh, whatever uh, some people call it dead cat I don't like that name because I have a cat okay so don't judge me so I don't like to call it that way I would call it windshield okay and that's where you go outside and there's a wind and there's a noise and, and this is supposed to isolate or help isolate as much of that noise as possible and guys I just wanted to say this is going to be the real treat now this is going to be the moment this is boya by mm1 microphone so i'll zoom in so you guys can see what it is so in the back we're gonna have the little thing that we're gonna plug it in in the front because it's shotgun microphone well it's supposed to be shotgun but you know what it is it's not a real shotgun microphone it's like a micro version of it 35 pounds by the way i've bought it for 35 pounds guys link in the description if you are interested in it also for us amazon i don't know it's going to be probably like 40 dollars maybe something like that so with the amount of stuff that you get getting with it i think as for someone who starts vlogging with their smartphone because they don't want to spend another 600 pounds or 600 dollars for a dslr camera this is fantastic and it comes with everything you ever need um, so there you go and it is metal definitely feels really really uh good i'm not gonna i know that the top can be unscrewed or stuff like this but i'm not gonna mess around with this there you go that's the that's the actual um microphone okay guys so next step we've got that little little situation for your phone so this is uh the f mount Shit. so guys f mount this is pro apparently pro smartphone video grip We'll see we'll see if it's pro this was about 11 pounds by the way so i don't know 12 13 dollars so the whole set for like 50 quid 50 dollars you know guys pretty pretty cool i really like it there you go that's the item there's nothing else to it there's nothing else to it so you can mount your mic in here that's gonna be for the shotgun mic your phone goes in here and i think i read somewhere wait let me see real quick oh dude you unscrew this and then it goes up and it can like apparently it can fit most phones so i suspect it should be okay and this is like rubbery type thing so you screw that here and then it goes up so you can you can fit any phone so for my phone it will have to go way up way up way up so they've been saying um when i was doing the order it was said that also like iphone 6s plus 7 plus 8 plus all that jazz uh, so i suspect my google pixel should be no problem to it then you have that little level type thing so you can see the bubbly thing so you can see if you're holding it straight that little strap here so you don't lose your camera suddenly and I've been told also that the bottom can be detached. Now, why would you want that? Now, this is exactly why, because of this here. So you can, you know, if you have like a 
I don't know, photography stand or something like a tripod type thing. You can mount it on the actual tripod, guys. So this, this is perfect. You know, my newer lighting thing with the tripod thing that I, that I actually use it now to shoot this video. I can actually use that and use that shotgun Boya mic to do it with. But I bought the Boya mic only for the fact if I'm gonna be like doing any kind of uh, walk around videos, maybe like vlogging type videos. I wanted to give it a try with that and I thought, okay, may as well do that. Sometimes if I'm gonna have some, I don't know, something to say, uh, but I want to be outside then rather than inside because it's beautiful weather and you know, uh, then this would be absolutely perfect. So guys, with that said, Let's do some sound tests. All right, guys, welcome back. So I have uh, good and bad news. The bad news is I don't think I'm gonna be able to use this microphone with my Google Pixel uh, phone because my Google Pixel phone does not have headphone jack. And I think, I'm not entirely sure, it's, I'm not too sure, man, but the headphone jack that was included with my Google Pixel phone, I don't know if that's gonna be working with this microphone. It's a silly thing, but maybe not, uh, it, maybe it's not gonna work. With me, it's no problem, because right now I'm recording with my Mrs. Old phone, a Samsung Galaxy S7, so that's how it looks, basically, and how it sounds. Uh, so this is the raw audio, unprocessed, just boosted audio, uh, and this audio right here uh, includes the windshield on the actual uh, mic. But let's take the windshield off and give it a try what is it gonna sound without the windshield on. Uh, so the windshield is off now, guys. Uh, the microphone, so this is again the raw audio um, without any sort of like post-processing much apart from boosted in post. Uh, so yeah, that's basically what it is and I suspect Let's give it a try what it's gonna sound like if I'm gonna do a bit of, you know, processing to that audio. All right, guys, so right now you should hear the audio uh, with, you know, processed and everything, and that's how it sounds. So if you guys are gonna be interested to know how to exactly achieve this, then again, stick to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you uh, on a little tutorial thing uh, how to do this for free. Uh, I'm gonna be using software that I always use, which is behind on that screen, which is called Audacity, and it's awesome, by the way. A lot of people been using this. Anyways, guys, one last test indoors that I wanted to do, which is basically taking the mount off and, um, you know, spinning the mic around, see what it does. All right, so right now I took off the mic from this uh, newer uh, phone rig just to see what it sounds like if I have it a little bit closer uh, to my mouth. And also I wanted to try the off access. We will see how it sounds. So right now I'm gonna start spinning the mic around and this is how it sounds behind of the microphone. I'm touching it all over so I don't know how it will handle the 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 rejection of the noise and stuff but yeah that's how it sounds and that's me talking right on top of the mic P peter peter okay so uh some some testing with plosive as well just to see how the plosive will uh sound with this mic and let me just make sure that it's definitely plugged in yeah it's definitely plugged in guys um, I like this newer rig because right now it's all mounted on my, uh, what do you call? Uh, the newer ring that I have, the lighting ring from newer as well. And I gotta say that this newer company is pretty cool. So this, this uh, phone rig is definitely worth it. You know, it's really, really cool. So let's go outside and see how this mic performs uh, when the real noise is, you know, with the windscreen on and stuff like this. Let's flip and do this. All right, guys, welcome back. And uh, we are in, right now on a beach, uh, which is perfect because there is a lot of uh, birds in here, especially seagulls, you know? They love this kind of areas. So uh, we can test out truly how does the Boya mic uh, sounds when you are outside. Really awesome weather. I still got the jacket because it's not as uh, warm and as in you know some places, but uh, yeah, it's pretty alright. And uh, 
that's how the mic sounds guys that's how the mic sounds and this is the processed audio so in case that if you're wondering that audio here is processed uh, so I did some of this stuff that if you're gonna wait until the end of this video you will be able to learn that as well on how to do this really easy I'll let you to hear some sounds um, from the mic itself I'm not gonna talk for a while and I'm gonna change the direction of the camera as well so I'll show you some stuff Alright guys, and that'll be pretty much everything for the outdoor test. Uh, yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, I think this audio sounds alright. And uh, for £35 or $40, this camera is really worth checking out, especially it comes with so many things. Well, I was a little bit disappointed I couldn't work it with my Google Pixel phone, but then again, I feel like this is not a camera fault. This is more like of a... Uh, phone manufacturer fault that they don't allow third party things plugged into it, you know, apart from headphones, I suspect, I don't know. But again, I don't think like that this is the uh, microphone itself, this is a phone rather, so I don't really mind since I got, you know, another device and if my miss is gonna get her phone upgraded again, I'm gonna take over her Galaxy S8, which is even better. So I see you guys soon in a studio. Alrighty guys, welcome back to the studio. Man, it's good to be back with my mic and my setup and everything. Let me tell you this, it really is sounding, I'm talking about my Rode NT1, like, you know, really good microphone, especially that is plugged into my Yamaha MG10XU mixer and everything when it's tweaked correctly it just gives us like really good sound anyways so what we're gonna guys do is we're gonna be uh, extracting audio files out of the videos that we took uh, when we were at the beach and stuff so we're gonna use this free software called vlc if you didn't know you can do a whole bunch of things with vlc it doesn't only work for viewing um, or listening music or anything, you can actually convert files into different files. So this is how to do it. That's the first step. Let me take uh, away my camera so you guys are gonna be able to see. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do is, first things first, we're gonna open uh, VLC media and then we're gonna go to media. So go to media, then go convert and save. And now click on that little plus button now i'm already here so i can pick all the stuff so what we're gonna go go for is we're gonna go with pa -pa 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 -pa, outdoor five we're gonna open that file now we're gonna go up here where it says convert and save and we're just gonna click that little um down arrow next to it and we're gonna click convert alternatively alt plus o uh, will do the trick. Now it will ask you what do you want it to convert. So you're probably gonna be up here with the videos like this, okay? What you wanna do is you want it to scroll through this list and I suggest to do MP3 because it's gonna make it uh, quick. So go with MP3 here. I mean, you can try uh, CD. I haven't tried it to be honest, but I'm just gonna go with MP3. That's probably best. Now choose the destination file. This is where the file that you're gonna convert is gonna be exported to. Click start, and you can see the bar up here, it does the job, and once it's done, we're gonna go back to the file, we're gonna close this now. We're gonna go back here, and one thing guys, this is already MP3. It shows MP4, I'll show you how to fix it. Look. There is, when you are asked as, Okay, so this is no longer a video file. What you're gonna have to do is either once click on it or right click and rename the file. And you can totally amend this. You just delete number four, press number three. So it's gonna be MP3, hit enter. 
and then you will, it will ask you rename if you change this file blah 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 it won't work do you want to change it yes tada mp3 really awesome weather okay really awesome weather you heard the man all right guys so right now we are gonna be doing stuff with audacity so you're gonna open audacity by the way if you don't know where to get audacity from uh, you type in Google Audacity and it's going to be a website popping out there. But I'm going to leave a link in the video description so you guys can download. It's a free software that you can get for Linux, Windows and Mac. And a lot of people have been using this because it's really awesome. Anyway, so once you have your file, we're going to drag and drop the file here. Just like this. So I'm going to make it bigger. <coughs> So we're going to click on that little zoom tool and we're going to start zooming in a little bit. Don't go too crazy. Okay, I went a little bit too far there. But that's okay. That that should be okay. Then you, uh, you can click back on the selection tool. And let's hear the audio. Okay, so there is a wind. The idea is to get rid of that wind, so as much as we can. So effect. So basically all you do is you just select the sample area like this with the left click on the mouse. You can just drag and drop that. All right, and then effect. And then you go noise reduction, get noise profile, and then hit control A or command A on Mac to highlight the entire area. Then go back to effect noise reduction and hit OK. So it will process depending on the length of the audio, it will process that. So we definitely made a, made a bit of a progress here. Look. OK, and this is how it was before. OK, so I think we've got a bit of a pro progress there. All right, guys, welcome back. And uh, we are right now on a. Okay, so that's how the audio sounds. Let's fix that. Well, let's add some stuff to it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some compression first. And I go for a light compression, but you can play with it. Uh, you can, you know, drop this down or up as much as you want, whatever. Give it a try. I mean, I wouldn't change it too much. I wouldn't, to be honest, change it at all but you can give it a try obviously see what it is noise load i would leave it at 40 db i wouldn't mess with those to be honest so just uh, do that and then once you are happy uh then make sure you copy this what i have on the screen right now and then hit ok what it will do is it will squash everything uh, a little bit uh, and it will be more sort of compressed um, let me just show you what's going to be happening here with the files. So, uh, second part is we're going to go effects and we're going to add some equalization. So let's add some equalization. I've got my sort of like previously used because I don't use this anymore. Uh, I don't equalize this because I've got it on my mixer, but uh, Pete treble boosts. And so my treble, come on. Oh yeah, I know what it is. Wait. We got to change to draw. And that's what I do. So I basically, uh, it's just below 3 dB. I don't add a whole bunch of um, treble to this audio, you know. I suspect we could add more, but it doesn't really matter. Hit OK when you're ready. Then what we're going to do is we're going to also go back to it and add some bass. I've got my special base, so you can't really duplicate that. I'm going to hit the graphics so you guys can see what's going on. All right, guys, and you can just copy this. I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. It doesn't have to be perfect. Everybody's voice is different. So what you're hearing right now, the audio is obviously different because it's not the audio um, that I would normally record with the same microphone. This is totally different, right? And I've got it connected to my uh, uh, Yamaha M MGU. So anyways, uh, once you've copied this, then click OK. It will process that. 
and then the next step would be to go and make it normalize. Now, with normalize, I usually have it minus five, but recently, because I do normalize sometimes my files when it comes off my um, Yamaha mixer, uh, just because I then uh, use limiter, and I'll show you that in a minute, we're gonna use limiter. Uh, so we're gonna limit anything that goes to certain decibel basically but with this audio because it's been actually recorded quite loud um this is what i was saying that this step what i'm doing right now this bonus part is only for people who really wanted to sort of like tweak that and polish that sound from that microphone because i believe that this mic has decent enough gain and everything applied to it right from the start so technically this step may be not needed that much but anyways Let's continue. So we're going to use minus uh, 5 dB because we want to lower these sounds. Okay, we've lowered these sounds and they go about, you know, about here. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and click effect and we're going to go use limiter. Now my limiter, you can copy the settings. It's a hard limit. So you go to the list and you choose hard limit. This is zero, this is zero, that's minus 9.8, and that's 10, all right? And that's no in here. So just copy this, hit OK. Depending on the file, I mean, if you're recording, it's like, say, for example, my gameplays are usually like 30 minutes or so. It will take a good few minutes before it will compress that. And you see, now it's a little bit more defined. So the last step is to amplify the sound. And I normally would have do, do amplification, say like uh, with 9.8 dB up to, yeah, before it will start clipping, it actually marks here. It doesn't matter because when I actually put that in Sony Vegas, it will um, lower the volume anyways, and I have to boost it in Sony Vegas. And it will show you, I may do tutorial on how I do stuff in Sony Vegas, how I actually edit my videos and stuff. But basically in Sony Vegas, it would automatically lower the sound just in case so it doesn't clip, but you can then boost it and then it will show you it's only going to say like minus six, minus eight, minus whatever dB, yeah? So we're gonna lower that to say like, minus 1.2, I think that's what I was doing with the previous files. Okay, and that's very loud. Okay, so let's hear that. All right, guys, welcome back. All right, guys, welcome back. And uh, we are right now on the beach, uh, which is perfect because there is a lot of uh, birds in here, especially all right, guys, and that's how this audio sounds, guys. So, guys, I'm really happy with the purchase of Boya mic, and I would absolutely recommend uh, doing so. Just make sure that your phone has a headphone jack, all right? All right, guys, that'll be everything for this video. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did put a lot of time and effort to do this video for you. I hope that at least one or two people, maybe more, who knows, uh, will find some really cool value in this video and, you know, it will get you to sort of like start doing the vlogging or anything that you were thinking to do, but you weren't sure on where to start or, you know, you thought that you may need to uh, get really expensive equipment to, to, to start doing this. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor and smash this like button. Also, share this video with your friends. Um, subscribe to my channel if you are new. And if you do that, do not forget to hit that bell so you never miss any uploads from me. Uh, and with that said, guys, that will be the end of this video. Thanks again. Peace out. Peace.